Okay, today I'm going to do a complete review and a uh, how-to on how to remove the lens and uh, load film in this Argus C44. This particular model is a 1957. They were only made from 1956 to 1957 and it was a uh, an add-on to Argus's C4 to give you the ability to change lenses. Argus made three lenses, the 35 millimeter, uh, 50 millimeter, and 100 millimeter. And they also made a wide variety of accessories um, such as this uh, powered viewfinder and flashes and kind of everything else that went along with the cameras of that time. Um, here's right now I have the 35 millimeter lens mounted and here's the 50 millimeter it's a f2.8 and these cameras are kind of they're they they're either loved or hated um, as you'll see the the way to change the lens is a little bit different than probably what everybody is used to but once you get the hang of it it's it makes sense it's just different than what everyone's used to so that's probably why it gets the hate um, as you can see I mean it's a metal body um, it's really solid feeling camera um, it is a viewfinder camera which is always nice um, it doesn't have a lot of features as far as the uh, shutter speeds. You've got tenth of a second, twenty-fifth, fiftieth, hundredth, and three hundredths of a second, and then bulb. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's a it's a it's a basic camera, but you know it's 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 a decent camera. It's a nice camera, and I picked it up for hardly anything. So uh, that's the first part of the video, and then the second part of the video, I'll show you how to change the the lenses, and then go into loading uh, the film. Okay, so for part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to change the lens on what some people say is the worst interchangeable lens camera that's ever made. So let's let's see what it's all about. Uh, down here at the bottom you've got the little uh, latch and it's really it's actually once you get the hang of it it's very simple you uh, would you rotate here you've got your obviously your focus wheel rotate it till it gets to infinity and then you push up and while you're pushing up you just simply rotate about a quarter of a turn and there it is it's it really is that easy um, this is a has a leaf style shutter like I said it's a pretty basic camera a lot of people say that the sound of the shutter closing they, they compare it to a rat trap uh, it definitely has a nice nice audible sound to it here uh, I'll, I'll show you in a second so then here I'm just going to go ahead and install the uh, the 50 millimeter lens, and on the body of the camera, there's two red dots. You line up the two red dots on the body of the camera. On the lens, there's two red dots. You line those up, and then as simple as that, the lens is installed. It's it's really that easy it's different than what everyone is used to which I guess is why so many people dislike it but it's really not not that hard so the next part of the video is going to be loading film in the camera and then some some miscellaneous little walkthrough type okay stuff. so the final part of the video is going to be installing the film so here on the bottom of the camera you've got the little latch and you can use a dime to get it started and then it just pops off as easy as that and
like pretty much any other uh, this is actually the first time I've ever loaded film in this but I'm just gonna go off my my gut feeling on how everything works here because it's a really basic camera so if you've loaded film and a film camera you can do this <laughs> it's it's very easy um, so you would just see if I can get it lined up without looking at it here. Okay. And of course there's the problem of trying to look through the camera and load the film at the same time. see here uh, you want to load you want to slide the film underneath this metal piece right here and once you do that it's as simple as sliding the back plate on take your little dime whatever it is that you decide to use. There we go. It's, I mean, if you've loaded film before, you can do it. There's nothing really advanced about loading the film in this. Um, so, okay, so once you've loaded your film in the camera, uh, you've got the winder and the uh, indicator on the here for how many shots you've got. Uh, a lot of people complain about this thing because it's really easy to bump with your finger and to move it around and then you kind of forget how many shots you've taken so you're if there's any flaws really that I've seen this this is definitely one of them um, put you put that on you know say you've got 24 frames in a roll or, or 36 or whatever put it on that wind it and then you're ready to take a picture um, obviously here is the shutter right here and then uh, that's really it like I said it's a very basic camera so I've got it wound I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture this will be my first picture and it really won't you know this is kinda to give you guys an idea of what the uh, shutter sounds like everyone converts it like I said to a rat trap so to just take this first picture here. It's going to be out of focus and whatever. So there it is. That's the first picture. It's got a nice sound to it. Um, and then you wind it. And you see the shutter comes up. Or the button, I should say. There we go. Um, like I said earlier, here's... You've got a little white indicator dot. And that's uh, your shutter speed. 10th of the second, 25th, 50th, 100th, 300th, and bulb. So that's that's really it. Um, yeah, if you guys had any questions, I, I've looked on YouTube, and there's really not very many videos on this particular camera. Um, you know, send me a comment. Um, maybe I can help you out. You can pick these things up for pretty cheap with with uh, a lot of the little accessories and everything and uh, you know if, if you're this maybe you you don't have any film, film cameras but you don't want to spend a lot of money because maybe you don't think you want to get into film for whatever reason I'd say it's a good little camera um, so there it is